Hey there, Lynn Allen here. Welcome to another AutoCAD tip courtesy of Catalyst Magazine. All right, I am a big fan of nice, neat, clean, tidy AutoCAD drawings. How about you? Because of that, I am a huge fan of the purge command. I know, you too. If that's the case, you're going to love the new updated purge dialog box inside of AutoCAD 2020. Oh yeah, one of my favorite features inside of AutoCAD 2020 is the fact that now the purge command will actually tell you why it can't purge something. Oh yeah, think of all the money you're going to save on therapy. You're going to see what I'm talking about. It's wonderful. All right, let me show you. So uh, one of the first things you're going to notice is that you can get to the purge dialog box, the purge command, so much easier than you could before because you don't have to go to the application menu. It's actually in the ribbon. Hello. I'm going to go to the manage tab on the ribbon and you will see that it is not one, but two places inside of the ribbon. You'll see that there's a new panel, panel called the cleanup panel where it has some other cool features, overkill and audit. It doesn't matter whether you click on purge or you click on find non-purgeable items. Look how excited they are about that. They made that a great big, huge tool. It is the same command. It doesn't make any difference. I don't know why it's in two places. I don't know. But anyway, you'll see it's in the same dialog box. And uh, I'll start off with purgeable items just to tell you the difference here. You'll see that there's a great new preview. I can take a look at individual objects that I can purge. I can get a, a visual view of them. I love that. Oh, maybe I don't want to get rid of that now that I can see it. Couldn't see it before. Now I know what I'm, it's, I'm talking about. Maybe I don't want to get rid of that nice rubber plant. <laughs> it's very visual. We're visual people. I like that. This is sizable. You can make it bigger, smaller, whatever it works for you. Another thing that you will notice here on the purgeable item side is that you have the ability to, uh, here's zero length geometry and empty text objects before they were lumped together. So you had to get rid of both of them or not at all. Now, I have to ask myself, why would you not want to get rid of both of them? Why would you want to keep empty text objects <laughs> and urge zero length geometry? I don't know. Who's out there that wants to do that? Somebody does. Nevertheless, now they each have their own individual check mark. Hooray! Somebody must have wanted it somewhere. I don't know who that person would be. Let's take a look at find non-purgeable items. This is the best. This is absolutely the best. So once again, very visual. You can come down here. You can take a look. These are all the things I can't get rid of. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, but, and it will tell you why. So we did get some information in previous releases as to why we couldn't get rid of it. But now we get a lot more information. And I'll show you what I'm talking about in just a second. So this is all the stuff we can't get rid of because it's being used in the drawing, right? It's being referenced in the drawing. But where we really run into issues more often than not is when it comes to layers. Am I right? You're trying to get rid of that layer. Why can't I get rid of that layer? There's nothing on that layer. I know. I zoomed all over. I couldn't find anything. Why can't I get rid of it? Now, I made a specific layer just for this little exercise called evil layer. We all have that one evil layer we can't get rid of. And if I come over here, it says there's five objects on that layer. I'm like, what? I didn't see any objects on that layer. Oh, there are points, five points. Ah, my point display mode must be set to dots or maybe to nothing. I couldn't see them. That's why I didn't see anything on that layer. They were like practically invisible. So what I'd like to do is you'll see right here, if I click on here, it says select objects. It closes the purge dialog box and selects those objects. So I can see the offenders. Look, the offenders are highlighted. So what would I do now? Oh yeah, I would erase them. Hello, offenders are gone. And now what? Now I could go back into the purge dialog box and I would be able to get rid of those guys, that, that layer, right? The evil layer would now be able to be deleted. Hello, yay. So that's going to make my life a lot easier. So I think you're going to love the changes to the updated purge command. Oh yeah, I absolutely love it. It's going to, once, once again, you're going to save a lot of money on Tylenol. It's going to be a great experience. You're not going to hit your head against the wall. Really nice update inside of AutoCAD 2020. All right, give it a try. Keep your drawings nice and neat and clean. All right, I'm going to see you back here in two more weeks. Thanks for joining me.